Hello everybody, welcome to my new video. Today I want to talk a little bit about Amazon and what influences people to purchase things on the platform. According to Retail Me Not, in 2020, 80% of all buyers on Amazon are price sensitive, meaning that they are always interested in looking at the price before they purchase anything on the platform. 49% of these buyers also go on other websites to compare the pricing before they make a purchase. Amazon itself acknowledges this fact and actually puts a best price marker on their products on the platform. A lot of the time, even in the seller central, they will try and, and match the price on other platforms as well. This means when you're selling on Amazon, you need to make sure that the price on the platform is the best that you can offer your customers. If not, the platform might hinder your performance or not show your product very well on the platform. Moving on to the next topic, which is reviews and ratings. According to Bright Local and Power Reviews, above 90% of all visitors on Amazon read their reviews first before they make a purchase. According to Amazon's own statistics, an item with over 15 reviews does 12.5 times as many sales than the items with no reviews at all. The next topic I'd like to talk about is shipping and delivery. According to an online retailer poll, it states that 72% of all Amazon Prime shoppers say that the main reason why they shop on the platform is because of two-day free shipping. Now, this is important because a study by Big Commerce states that 38% of all consumers abandon their carts because of extensive shipping. If you're selling on Amazon, you have to make sure that your customers have the products in time. So in order to solve this problem, Amazon has a program called FBA, where it uses its own fulfillment centers placed all over the world to ensure delivery times are met. If you're using your own fulfillment methods, make sure that you can get your products to your customers in time. Then the next topic I'd like to talk about is content. You need to make sure that all of your products and your product listings have the correct images, bullet points, and descriptions. To make sure that customers have all of the information that they need to be able to make a confident purchasing decision. The topic after content is where your content is also placed, which means your brand presence. 62% of Amazon buyers always check if the product is sponsored. This and being part of special events puts your product in front of more customers and shows that you care about your product within the system, meaning that your products will be pushed and more present all over the platform. And by special events, I mean holidays or events like Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Christmas, and other deals like so. All of these things play into the last aspect, which isn't so much about consumers as it is for Amazon. And these are product recommendations and the markers put on your products from Amazon's algorithm. If you have all of your listings in order, all of the reviews and all of the content and bullet points and all of the things that you've done to improve your listings, Amazon might put you on the Amazon's choice list or might put other markers to improve your visibility to consumers. Now this sends a message that your product is not only compliant, but safe to purchase. Now, since you've made it this far in the video, I'll give you one more bonus tip, and that is brand reputation. According to Statista, 63% of all consumers on Amazon find brand reputation to be critical for a purchasing decision. This means that controlling your brand image or your brand message is critical to sell on Amazon or any other platform. As I've mentioned before, having brand presence is critical, and this directly means having marketing presence on the channels. Now, controlling your marketing message is really, really critical, and having two too many different people in control of that message can cause issues. Amazon knows this and gives you specific tools to mitigate these risks, and that is brand registry. To have brand registry means that you have legal control over your product and you can kick out multiple sellers that are unauthorized as well, because that's another issue. Amazon sometimes has a lot of different sellers from all over the world that can hijack your products and sell them without your consent. In order to maintain your brand reputation, we suggest working with a global partner or being directly in control of your brand. And I would wish you all a happy Amazon experience. If you have any other suggestions or any other tips to share, go ahead and write that in the comments below and let's have a conversation. I'll see you in the next video.